Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Domain Name System, otherwise known as DNS. We're going to be taking a look at how to configure one of your routers to become a DNS server. And I'm also going to show you how to verify your configuration. And also, we're going to just take a look at some of the properties at within DNS on the Cisco router and what we're, we have here in our lab is we have three routers router 1, 2, and 3 and they are all part of the slash 24 uh, the 10.0.0.0 .0 slash 24 network and what we're going to have is router 3 is going to be our DNS server And what we're going to do just to show the basic principles of a DNS server being implemented on a router is we're going to have router 3 is going to be able to look up host name to resolve IP addresses. And we'll do this through a simple uh, you know, ping command on the routers. So router 1 will ping router 2's host name. And then router 3, what we will see, will resolve this information and forward it back to router 1. So again, DNS is used for, you know, to translate, you know, host, host names to IP addresses. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be running, we'll just run OSPF as the interior gateway protocol. We don't really need loopbacks, but I'm just going to go ahead and create loopbacks anyway. So router 1 is going to be the all 1. Loopback 0 there. Router 2's loopback 0 is going to be the all 2. Slash 24, and same with router 3. So router 3 is going to be loopback 0. 3, all 3's slash 24. So let's go ahead and get all these routers configured and then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at how to set up router 3 as a DNS server and to translate host names to IP addresses. So what we'll do is we're going to take a look. All these routers are connected via their fast Ethernet 00, zero interfaces to each other via you know switch 0 here. So they're all on the same VLAN. So we'll get into the command line here on router 1. We'll configure the loopback 0 interface real fast. Then we'll go ahead under the fast Ethernet 00. So it's going to be 10.0.0.1. We'll go ahead and do a no shut. We'll go ahead and do a router OSPF, OSPF1. Process ID 1 there. And we'll go ahead and enable OSPF for the 10 network here. For the uh, that's going to be in area zero. We'll also do the one network in area zero as well. So as you can see here, these are just specifying the ho basically the host here. Is a host mask, so it has to match directly this IP address when we specify this network command in. And what that's going to do is that's going to not allow, you know, OSPF to try to establish neighbor adjacencies on any other IP addresses except for these two that are running on your uh, local router here. So now that we have router 1 configured, let's go ahead and go to router 2. Go ahead and get it configured. We'll do the loopback 0 interface first. We'll go ahead and do the fast Ethernet 0 interface now. We'll go under OSPF process 1. 
And we'll do the network 10.0.0.2. Again, the host mask for area 0. And then we'll also put in the loopback 0 interface here. As you can see here, we have our neighbor adjacency with router 1 now. You can see here, neighbor is router 1. Let's go to router 3 and get it configured. Do the loopback 0 first. 